It's um, very satisfying that every year over the past 17 years we've come together to affirm our unity and uh, diversity within that unity and also unity of purpose. This peace walk has a checkered history but it goes from strength to strength. This year we have more colleagues, more friends, brothers and sisters joining us. It's me great pride to be here today to see so many people that are willing to take part in the walk. But this is what Luton is all about. All the communities working together. Wherever I go, across the country, Parliament, I talk, always talk about the work you do and this wonderful peace march which happens every year and brings people together. Demonstrates that, uh, you know, with, with all our wonderful differences, a great variety, we're all, we are one people as well. We're all human beings, we're all Newtonians. And I think we demonstrate that every year by, by this march and show that we can live together in peace and harmony. Uh, like others, it's a great privilege to be here this afternoon again as the Bishop, Church of England Bishop, with a particular responsibility for Luton. Um, this is becoming one of the important dates in my annual diary. Just down there, one of the posters says, loving our neighbours, that great invitation that transcends the various faith communities and indeed all communities of goodwill. It always seems to me that one of the questions we just have to keep on asking ourselves is, who is my neighbour? And then when we think we've found the answer to that, we need to ask the question again because it always pushes us to a deeper and fuller and more complete understanding of our oneness as human beings created by God, working together for the common good. And so it seems to me that this afternoon is very much about that and let's always go on asking, who is my neighbour? Because then we discover the friends that we do not yet know we have. I come from Wisbeach. I'm a, a, an adopted Wisbechian. I'm delighted to be here because Johnny came to us back in the summer to speak to us. And we thought, let's, let's um, show a little bit of gratitude. Lovely to be here. Get the rain away, please. I'd like to be here. I'm moving to Luton uh, because I admire the community. I think there is so much here on offer for us all. We just love our neighbours. We have so much to teach the rest of our country. Good afternoon to everyone. I am very pleased to be here. Just I want to say, last from two weeks, uh, other youngsters, they hard, uh, they have done hard work. You know, they have collected uh, different food from different people and southern mass, and they brought here uh, different kind of food. And uh, I hope you will enjoy your peace walk. These initiatives are fantastic because they campaign for two, three weeks. But moving forward as a community with the welfare reforms that we're seeing, we really, really need to push and support groups like the Luton Food Bank. Because the welfare reform isn't here for two weeks, it's not here for a year. It could be here for many years. And interestingly enough, Riyadh said it himself two weeks ago when he uh, emailed us, he said, there's been people who've been on 100,000 salaries who have overnight lost their jobs and they've had to resort to the food bank. So it's not about who you are, where you're from, whether you're poor or you're rich. It's a time of need. And if you can support, it's fantastic. Hopefully, we at the Central Mosque, the biggest mosque in Bedfordshire, purpose built from the eight, uh, 1982, would love to get uh, involved in any future projects and be a part of the steering group for the Luton Food Bank. Thank you once again and have a fantastic day, guys. Love your neighbor, future I speak, so I'll keep it very brief. I think Brother Ashfaq covered all the angles really from our side but I would definitely say that uh, this is a, a wonderful initiative and um, you know I don't think it's really about the numbers it's about giving this message across worldwide really you know we want to give off this give this message of peace and love and unity and I think the Muslims here I can uh, confidently say that the Muslims here today represent the majority of Muslims all over the world so this is really, you know, what we all believe in and I think that uh, from now on uh, and, and so forth, next year as well, you know, we're going to sort of promote this event as much as, as, much as you can. So, um, and uh, inshallah, the future is very bright for this.
Ofsted Registered School. It's an Islamic faith school. We welcome all faiths to join, and we have in 2012 recently received an outstanding uh, uh, sort of grade from Ofsted. So we're in a good place. Mathematics, our SATS results are very good as well. And we're working. We're planning. I mean, fathers here, uh, seen him somewhere. We just met. We're, we're going to be planning to work with St Joseph's Catholic Church. They were a school. They've also already been here. And it's been wonderful, some of the questions they asked, I'll tell you. So, you know, children from other faiths, the questions they ask, you know, I literally, you know, why are women not allowed in a mosque? You know, or why, no, no, that was the question. The question was, why do men and women sit separately? You know, so um, I was literally for about a minute and a half, two minutes, I had to think about the answer. Because you have the teachers at the back looking at me thinking, now you're stuck. This is you answer that. You, you Mr. Smooth. Um, so it was, uh, it was quite interesting. Just leave a story, not leave a story, it's only a couple of words. A friend of mine, he works for me. He's actually flying to Mecca today, to Saudi Arabia. And I especially went to see him today to say goodbye and do my prayers when he actually get to Mecca. So, the same as when I go to my temple, my Gurdwara in Luton, I meet, I meet many people, they say, where are you going, Kaldi? I say, I'm going to my Gurdwara side, to do a prayer for me as well. So it doesn't what religion you are, we all believe in one thing. Only a few hours ago, we came our separate ways to join together outside the town hall. I think it's been good today that people, some people have done part and others have done the whole Gurdwara. But each step that we've taken, in public witness through the centre of Luton, recommits and confirms what is in all our hearts and why we are here and what we want to do, what we are doing. And as you get up tomorrow and you take your first steps of the new day, remember the steps that we took together today and make those steps tomorrow count in just the same way. In a few moments, we're going to share mouthfuls. Tomorrow, when you enjoy your food and you take mouthful after mouthful, remember that your contributions to the food bank and what that is going to mean to those people who receive your gifts. One of the most blessed things I think we can do is to give and to share. I think it's sad that we're having to do this and have this food bank, but it is a fact of life. I would like to thank all the members of the Jami and the Samia Gusia Mosque. You truly have given us the warmest of welcomes. It's my second time coming here. The warmest of welcomes. And I don't know about you, but when I go into a building, you get that feeling almost as you take a step inside the door. You know what estate agents say, and it's, and it's so many seconds, and you know whether you, you like the house or not. And I feel, within those first few steps inside here, that Luton Council Faiths, Grassroots, and all the communities who are part of those organisations have now a really positive new home. And we talk about all our different homes that we have, because we do not have a, a, an official base. Our home is everywhere that we go. And here is another one that is really important in our, in our lives together. So thank you for coming, thank you for your hospitality, and thank you all for the smiles and the laughter this afternoon, which I think have been a completely new um, and added thing to this afternoon's Peace Walk. God bless you.